sit, please. Obsidian Entertainment have always been pretty consistent with making games that aren't always solid in technical or gameplay terms, but easily pull you into the game world they've created with intricate storytelling and themes that make you question yourself not just in games, but in real life. And Pillars of Eternity was one of their best games, managing to mix the simplicity of sword and sorcery adventuring with a much more involved storytelling, the first easing you into the second. To my surprise, Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire decided to take a very different approach. Deadfire is all about freeform adventuring. Gather your companions, grab your crew, get on a ship and sail across the archipelago searching for treasures, ancient runes, special encounters that play out as text adventure with various different outcomes, avoid traps and ambushes, solve simple riddles, fight tough monsters and do quests and like. There are four separate factions at play in Deadfire, along with some smaller groups, and you can always choose whenever you want to work with any of them or just be a force of chaos that pillages and plunders everything in their wake. To help with whatever you decide to do, all of the underlying systems that you might be familiar with since Baldur's Gate have been honed to almost perfection. There are lots of very smart quality of life improvements, some interesting additions or rebalancing changes, and also this might have been the only game with active pause that I've played so far that gave you an ability to edit the party AI in such a way that I barely micromanaged any of the fights despite playing on classic difficulty. Beast of Winter and Forgotten Sunsome DLCs, while not being particularly exciting, are a good addition to the overall adventure, bringing new ideas, some welcome world details and fun areas to explore. Though they, along with the updates, also bring some bugs and new issues as well. Deadfire, perhaps due to its freeform approach, feels considerably less polished, with far more little annoyances popping up here and there. A lot of questing in the main city tends to be frustrating due to the need to watch the black screen of loading every few seconds, while the overworld map exploration, while aiming for the sense of adventure, often feels tiresome and uneventful instead. Though how much of a bore that is would also depend on how much do you like the piracy theme and whenever you immediately rush to disable sea shanties like I did or enjoy that instead. Enjoyment of Seeker Slayer Survivor DLC will also come down to preferences, since it's mainly just a combat arena, so if you like the combat, this would be a welcome addition, but if you want an interesting story, you can just safely skip this one. Speaking of interesting stories, Deadfire might be the weakest written game Obsidian have ever produced. A lot of the dialogue seems off, most quests are forgettable errands instead of interesting stories, and even the companions this time around mostly just hang out with you instead of forming any kind of meaningful connection. Two of them left due to a choice I've made in the story, and all I could muster was a shrug. Heck, the entire main story of the game would take a short paragraph to tell without skipping any of the details, and given that the entire game took me just under 60 hours to finish, that's a lot of hours of barely anything of note. To me, Pillars of Eternity 2 is a huge disappointment. It's a huge downgrade in storytelling and complexity to the original game and feels like reading The Hobbit after Lord of the Rings. Yet, based on that same comparison, it would be incorrect for me to say that this simplicity makes the game bad. It was clearly meant to be more of a pirate-themed adventure with a lot of player choice and it did keep even me entertained for all those hours. If it's an adventure you want and the quality of storytelling is of a lesser concern to you, Deadfire would give you some fun times. But if you were looking for more deep stories like what the original Pirates of Eternity told, look elsewhere. You must gather your party before venturing forth. 